Hello again, and I'm back with another update on Project Vampire Resurrection. The uh, 1993 Chevy S10 mini truck that has been sitting for many years. And as you can see, I finally got the first round of wheel polishing completely finished back on the truck and now I also have the center caps back on as well have those polished up like I said before it's going to take a lot more than one pass on them but I wanted to at least get one round done slowly looking better and one thing I was gonna do today I had a few people ask me about it uh, it's gonna show a little bit more of the detail of these side murals because these things are just insane I've found new things on them like the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time I looked closely at them. Uh, talked before about the bricks back here being textured. Well, in a lighter texture, we also have these bricks. And I didn't notice that before either. I doubt the camera will pick that up. But basically all these bricks and ends here um there is no texture there no texture there and then the texture starts again right here so i'm just gonna go in close and show some more of the uh, detail work that went into this thing there's some headstones There's some bats in front of the silhouette of the moon. Got some, looks like uh, what would be tribal tattoo work on the vampire woman's arm. Some buildings. And then we have the blood dripping all the way down there. Even has the shadow behind it. Some shading. This thing is basically a rolling piece of art. And we'll go over here. Still not had any luck getting the locksmith here. He's kind of giving us the runaround. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands on that. Uh, but the problem is I just tried to climb through the front of there to get back in there. And, well, I'm getting a little older. Getting a little gut on me. And I can't fit. Because at yeah, the top of this... <laughs> Here and this. I, I could possibly fit, but honestly, I'm afraid I'll get stuck. So I, I kind of cut that idea out. But uh, back to some more detail work on the other side. See those trees with the black clouds.
kind of hard to get a really clean shot of this background work because of the reflections of the alchemy skull. RIP on that. There are more back here. And there's actually the painter's initials and date again. That's also on the back corners of these both the murals on both sides. And a little bit of cloud work there kind of make the sky look more realistic uh, let's go down here oh the skeleton man right there i did not notice that before and we have a hanging tree with a rope more headstones cannot read those i believe that looks like a little uh spirit or ghost or whatever you want to call it next to the skeleton some bones skulls a little bit of bloody parts another headstone right there We have some form of hieroglyphics here. I, I'm assuming that's what it is supposed to be. I mean, uh, a couple of these just look like stars, but I, I'm sure there's some sort of uh, meaning behind it, but I'm really not sure. And then the top of this lady's hood was faded out even has great detail work in the eyes and there's the top of a larger headstone go back up more black clouds some trees in the background again the artist initials 95 B A R still need to ask the previous owner that guy's name again I keep forgetting to mention that Still dirty, but even when it's dirty, there's these details in, in this mural just really pop out. In person, it's it's just, it's amazing how much you can actually see in it. Catch you later for now. I will update everyone again once we have some more progress on this amazing truck. See you.